Hey, what's going on guys? This is Manit from Radiate Studios and today we're going to create a handheld cinematic sequence using an iPhone. We have our model Jeep who is looking for a restaurant for lunch. So as she goes around, find a place to eat and enjoys her meal, we're going to break down each steps of her actions into a cinematic sequence. Also, I will walk you guys through different techniques like camera movements, camera angles, creative transitions, and some of the tips and tricks along the way. So let's get started. Okay, so for our first shot here, I'm going to open up the built-in iPhone camera app to get the most out of the stabilization on the iPhone. For the whole video, uh, I'm gonna film it in 4K to get the most out of the resolution, and it all will be shot in 24 frames per second for a cinematic frame rate. I also would like to lock the exposure and focus on my iPhone camera app to be able to control the exposure and focus distance in the shot manually, which makes it look more professional. So in this first shot, I'm going to start with a shot of the sky, tilt down gradually as I dolly back and have Jeep appear in the shot. This is a great way to introduce the location first, then the leading character of a story. I choose to film this shot with a wide focal length to show the overall environment as part of the establishing shot. The next shot is a profile shot of Jeep walking down the stairs as she looks around for a restaurant. For this, I decided to go with the medium long shot to show the subject in relation with the surroundings. When filming, it is important to shoot from different distances from the subject to make your video look more diverse. Like in this shot, when Jeep walks towards the sign of the restaurant, I decided to go for a medium shot to get closer to the subject and to show more of her emotion. I intentionally moved from left to right while trying to fill her in the frame for a transition to the next shot. Next shot is a shot of Jeep walking inside the restaurant. So to keep up with the camera movement from the previous shot, I'm going to move from left to right while trying to maintain the same speed of the camera movement. My plan is to create seamless transition between this shot and the previous shot. To make our sequence more packed in action, I'm gonna get another shot of Jeep walking towards the menus and her sitting on a chair. This is a medium shot where the camera moves closer to the menus and the scene goes black as the camera hit the menu. And at this point, it's quite obvious that we're gonna use this shot as a transition into the next shot of Jeep opening up the cover of the dish. To achieve the transition, I'm going to start this shot with my camera touching the cover of the dish. I decided to shoot this with a top-down shot aka overhead shot. Overhead shot is placed directly above the subject and it is a very effective way to show all the items that are laid on the table. Next shot is a simple profile shot of Jeep eating. The purpose of this shot is to show more of the interior of the restaurant while keeping Jeep as the center of the attention. Then here is another close-up shot of Jeep eating. This allows us to see more details of the food that she's eating and a little bit more of her action. And for the final shot of the sequence, I'm going to dolly back with a combination of Jeep shot. This is a great way to end the story by giving the audience a feeling of leaving the scene. And here is what the ending shot looks like. All right guys, so that's a wrap. Now it is time to put together all of the shots into a sequence and see the final result. So here we go. That was really fun to shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Some of the shots took us a few takes and a little bit of planning. But with some practice, anyone out there will be able to create a cinematic video like this in no time. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you do, make sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more contents like this.
With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.